So, this video is about uh, rainbow formation and it is in response to large number of students and uh, teachers asking this question whether there is a total internal reflection involved in the rainbow formation or not. So, the textbook diagram is you have a water drop spherical water drop and then sunlight falls on this at some angle and then uh, it refracts here, it refracts here and then there is a reflection here and then there is a refraction here and the observer sees rainbow through this particular transmitted ray. So, the whole question is whether there is a total internal reflection here or it is partial internal reflection. So, many of the textbooks and websites say that there is a total internal reflection here and, uh, but I had been telling people that no, 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 there is, uh, there is, it is not total internal reflection here and therefore, there is some confusion and lot of students and teachers are asking this question on males. It is very simple, extremely simple in fact. If it is a spherical drop and this is the center and if you join this, this becomes the normal here, this becomes the normal. So, here is the angle of incidence, remember this is air or uh, and this is the uh, water. So, this is the uh, angle of refraction and sin i by sin r will be the refractive index of this particular uh, water. Now, this angle of refraction r has to be less than critical angle, right? because if you reverse, if the ray goes like this, then uh, reverse this arrow also if a ray goes like this after refraction it will go out and therefore, uh, there is no total internal reflection here. So, this angle has to be less than critical angle. So, that is the crucial point. This angle is less than critical angle. This r is less than critical angle. And then uh, for this uh, surface again you join the center here and this becomes the normal and for this water to air interface this is the angle of incidence this is normal this is the ray therefore this is angle of incidence here and then uh, it should come out because this is center this is radius this is radius so if this angle is r this angle is also r and r is less than critical angle so, this angle is less than critical angle and therefore, there it is not total internal reflection. For total internal reflection, this angle should be at least equal to the critical angle. In fact, more than that. At critical angle, you say that grazing uh, transmission and all those things. So, it should be greater than critical angle, then only total internal reflection can take place. And since very simple geometry this is center this is uh, on the on this circle here this is on this circle here these two radii are equal so this angle has to be equal to this angle this cannot be more than critical angle because it's coming from here if i is 90 degrees then this r will be equal to critical angle okay and therefore you do not have total internal reflection here the diagram should be this light which falls here part of it goes reflection here and part of it goes inside water. The one which goes in air after reflection is not of our concern. Similarly, here part of this light will go as reflected light and part of this will go as 
refracted light, so away from the normal, so it will go like this. So, one part is going this way, one part is going this way. And here also, here also part of it is going this way and part of it is going this way. And you know the secondary rainbow uh, is because of uh, these reflections of, of this light. So, that is all. You do not have total internal reflection in rainbow formation. 